All right, we're going to take a look at David's um, December athlete analysis. That was full speed. Um, this is a 50% speed. And um, this is 10%. Now, um, he's already actually made some changes. I know he's only been to the class two or three times, but I've watched him and he's kind of been watching other kids and, and kind of mimicking. So he's already made some changes, which is good. Um, but we're going to take a look here. Um, you notice how his arm is getting separated from his body. You can almost throw a football through there. Um, you want to, he needs to keep that connected and um, that elbow should be driving back instead of out and that's slowing him down quite a bit. Um, you can't see it right here but on the, on the follow through he's actually going across his body and if you notice as this continues you'll see that. So he's going out and then across versus back and forward um, and that, that's decreasing the momentum and we want to fix that. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is I believe his upper body again. Um, or maybe not, no, we're going down to the lower body. Okay, so um, his knee, you'll notice here, that's the height, that's the high as it goes. Um, we need to work on him driving that knee up more so we can get more distance on each step um, and increase that speed. Another thing we want to look at is his toes. He kind of points them inward and then rotates them out. Um, we want him to come straight forward with the knee, straight forward with the toes, and then strike you know, down and forward and not have anything go in or out. Um, so we're gonna take a look at trying to fix that for him as well. Um, the next thing is, I believe, lower body. We're gonna stop at 11 yards. And you'll notice here, that kind of shows you the inward point I'm talking about. But when that happens, it kind of creates a chain reaction of the leg. And if you'll notice, the foot is in, and then when the foot is in, everything's gotta follow. So he's facing me straight on. If you look at his eyes, he's looking right at me. However, his whole lower body is twisted. His left knee is pointing out and his right knee is pointing out the other way across his body. So, you know, that's, you don't want that. You don't want any twisting on the torso. Everything's gotta be straight, you know, straight forward and straight through. Um, so those are, those will give us a baseline of, the, of some things that we need to work on right away. And uh, maybe loosening him up a little bit too, because he's a little robotic at times with, with his running. Um, but all in all, definitely something good to work with here. Uh, going forward to his vertical leap, he jumped an 18. Um, technique was fairly good there. We'll work on some things to teach him how to increase that. Um, and then here's a standing broad jump, jump to 5 4. Now, with basketball, these are very important things. So, his vertical, his standing broad jump, anything explosive really helps out with basketball because every, basketball is a very explosive, very quick sport. Um, so, we'll definitely be focusing on uh, a lot of plyometric type training. Um, here's his lateral. This is another very important um, element for basketball. Um, being able to move quickly laterally as when you're defending, that's the type of motion that you have and will help him increase that speed as well. Um, going forward, we're going to take a look at his, um, his scores. And um, again, um, you know, fairly decent strength scores. We need to work on his balance. His balance isn't so great and his leg strength we need to work on. Um, his 10 and 20 yard times are going to be very important, especially that 10 yard. Um, and then the standing broad jump vertical are going to be very important. Um, so those are the things that we're going to focus on, increasing his explosive ability, his first step quickness, um, his reaction times, his lateral movements, as well as his linear movements. Um, so this will give us a baseline for you to reflect back and we can do this in 90 days to show the progress that we've made with David.